In this informative video, I am going to show you how to use an energy meter, also known as kilowatt meter, to effectively monitor your home appliances. First, we'll talk about the different display parameters as being shown on this LCD display. And then we'll move on to some of the hidden settings which are present in this smart meter. So make sure to watch this video entirely. Let's turn it on and I'll run you through the wiring sequence. So this is the input side. The input goes to the meter over here like this and in the output side I have connected this wire which goes to an LED bulb and the power consumption of this LED bulb is being shown on this meter as 8 watts. Now this is Meko power guard and this uh, kind of meter is available in various models. For example, you get PG08, PG08T, PG09. There are some different brands which look a little different but today's guide is going to be applicable to most of them. If you want to buy this kind of power meter, then buying links will be available in description below. So the first display, as we can see over here, is wattage. That is the watt consumption of this LED bulb. You can connect any other appliances over here and it will start showing the power consumption figures. Let's move up. This is the KWH value, also known as the units. And now it's really hard to get any kind of consumption from this uh, pesky small little bulb. But if you connect a heavier appliances, say a TV, or a cooler or even if you run this LED bulb for really long amount of time like overnight then it is going to show some of, some kind of reading over here and I have just recently made a reset of this display in my Hindi video again I make dual language videos if you want Hindi video again link in description so here the value is being shown as zero but nevertheless I am going to explain how to reset this value say if you have some numbers over here and if you want to reset the counter to zero what you can do is you can go to this set button over here long press the set button this thing will start flashing press ok and this thing will be back to zero let's move on this is the time so for how much duration this particular bulb has been on as you can see or see here it says six minutes and the best thing about this meter is that it has a memory function so say if you turn it on use something for say like three minutes turn it off again use it again for three minutes so you will get the cumulative value over here that is six minutes you can also reset this figure so you can long press the set button this thing will start flashing oh it went up to seven minutes so as we are talking the timer is going up press ok while this is flashing and here we are back to zero so that is the time duration of the home appliance that you have been using let's move up this is the frequency in india standard frequency is 50 hertz in the west it is 60 so you can check it over here if the frequency is very high or very low you can monitor the situation and take actions respectively next reading is the voltage indian appliances are designed to function between say 210 to 250 volts so if your voltage is out of the normal range then what you can do is you can consider a stabilizer for your valuable appliance and i do have multiple guides related to stabilizers on my channel you can find them in the I button or in the description so the voltage currently is around you can say 219.9 or 220 volts which is being supplied to this bulb let's move on the next display is milliamps this is the current being consumed by whatever load you have connected if you connect a larger appliance say a TV or something then you can check the current over here again in my power consumption playlist I have a measured variety of home appliances that you can check Let's move further. Now this thing does not have an indication over here. This thing is power factor. And as we know that a good power factor is unity. That is it should be one or very close to one. But here since this is an old technology LED bulb it is 0 0.6. Ideally it should have been better if this was 0 0.8 or 0 0.9. That would have made more sense. So here the power factor is 0 0.6 of this particular load. Next we are again back to the wattage reading which is 8 watts for this particular loop. Now let's talk about some of the hidden uh, menus or hidden settings that are available in this particular meter. So what we can do is we can long press this up button like this. So I'm going to long press it like that. And as you can see it says one on. So what is this one on? One on is basically that the backlight is going to permanently stay on. So if you're measuring something at night, say if you're trying to measure your AC or cooler and you're trying to sleep, the light might be very annoying. So what you can do is you can go up, you can go to this option two that is off to save it. You press OK. And now as you notice, as you use your meter, 
the backlight is going to stay off. So that is one little feature. There's one more option. Let's check it out by again pressing this up button. Again, it says one on, there's two off and there's third option. This is time based option. So let's save it by pressing OK. And what this option is going to do is it is going to turn on the backlight since last key press for five minutes. Say if you're not doing anything over here, after five minutes, the backlight will go off. But if you are using the meter, like I am using it right now, I am talking to you guys, the backlight is going to stay on for five minutes. So this is, you can say it's one of the best uh, features of this particular meter. Again, if you want to see uh, various kind of home appliances, which I have tested using this meter, or if you want to buy this meter, make sure to check the description below. Plus there will be a bunch of cards popping up on your screen like this. You can directly click these cards and go to those respective informative videos. That's it for this video guys. Take care and have a nice day.